Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to the YouTube uh, as well as Patreon. Um, and please, if you are uh, watching this from YouTube and you're not on my Patreon, come on over to Patreon. We have tons more going on there than on YouTube. We have over 600 videos and posts on there. Uh, great uh, enriching environment of people who are, you know, just looking to improve their shooting. Uh, grateful for, you know, data uh, and, uh, you know, kind of just really uh, sort of into the sport. We've already, with some of the members there, uh, put, you know, designed different tools and all kinds of other really cool stuff. So it is a great place to go to and much more is going on there than on YouTube. So Patreon uh, is the way. So come on over uh, and just want to go ahead and just do a quick review of the Alpha Brass at this point. Uh, I have not finished fully testing it, but I do have a few observations that I think are useful at this point in time. I want to get out there uh, as people start, uh, you know, thinking about either buying the brass or or they've already bought it and they haven't shot it and they're wondering, you know, what to do or they've shot it and they've they've, you know, seen some things that. Uh, maybe they, they didn't capture data, but um, they, they have some suspicions about the brass, about certain things. So I wanted to just show a couple of, of, of data points here that I think are relevant. Um, so I, I basically am using the same uh, methodology for this test that I use for the Secret Life of Brass test. So I'm not going to go into all of that because that's already on a separate video called Secret Life of Brass. Um, I've already tested uh, Lapua, uh, Norma 6 PPC, Norma 22 PPC, and the um, Starline 6.5 Grendel, neck down for six. So basically four types of PPC brass, and now I'm adding alpha to the mix. And so I can have data that looks at, you know, just relative differences between the two, okay? Um, so anyway, one of the first things that um, I found with the Starline, uh, I'm sorry, the alpha, I fired it twice already is the velocity on it is much quicker than <laughs> the other brands. So if you look at like Lapua here, for example, let me zoom in there on um, the first couple firings with Lapua, um, Norma 22, Norma 6, Starline Alpha. You see here, and this is again, the same load, the same bullet, the same barrel, Everything barrel's already broken in, so I'm not expecting anything to speed up. It's um, it basically everything is the same, same powder, uh, exact same lot of powder. I mean, everything is the same except for the piece of brass. And you can see here, Alpha, you know, for the first firing ran at 3286 feet per second. Um, there's nothing else in terms of the other four brass types that are in the 3200. So it is clearly, <laughs> you know, about a hundred foot per second over. Um, what the other brass brands are. So the second firing was the same thing. Firing one, I used H322, a super light load. Firing two, I used 28 grains of um, um, LT32. Yeah, 30, 28 grains of LT32. And the alpha, again, 3423.8. You don't see anything in the 3400s there. Uh, the, the closest one is, you know, 3319, which again is about a a whole 100 feet per second faster. So with that combined with uh, case head thickness, the case head thickness on the Alpha is very thick. I mean, it's like 0.19-ish, whereas all the other brands are either in like, like, like look at Lapua here, 0 0.166, 164, Norma 22 PPC 176, 177, 6 PPC a little bit thicker, maybe in the 0.18s area. Starline 0.175 ish in the middle there, high 170, 177s. Um, alpha is up there in like the 0.19. So just seeing that and the fast velocity makes me think the case volume is much lower than these four brands, and you're going to just get a lot more velocity with the same load out of it. So I guess that's kind of, you know, a big thing, a big takeaway is those velocities are probably going to be faster than some of the established brass types and brands that are out on the market right now. Okay, and then uh, the second major observation I made was um, overall length. Uh, basically, I measured the OAL for the case uh, baseline, and it was, a you know, it was a little bit long, 1.505-ish in that area on average. So I wasn't concerned. I thought, all right, let's just fire it once and see what happens. And it grew <laughs> quite a bit to like 1.51 ish in that area. And I thought, wow, that's, you know, that's, that's pretty big growth for one firing. 
Um, if, you know, some people have chambers that are 1.510, mine is 1.515. So I, I was okay with the 1.51 growth. It, I still had about five thousandths of, you know, uh, a growth there. I wasn't like too worried about it. But if you have a chamber that is 1.510, you probably want to trim the brass prior to your first firing. Um, or you could fire it once, but then you're going to have to trim like right after the first firing. So that's the other implication is be ready to, you know, either trim prior to the first shot, depending on your, you know, your, your reamer uh, OAL spec, uh, or be ready to trim right after your first firing. Um, and, and that way you can kind of keep that trim leg down anyway. So I did, I trimmed them down to 1.504 and then fired them again. And then they shrunk just, just a little bit, half a thousands, maybe a thousands. Okay. So now they're at a good spec. I can probably fire these several times, uh, without seeing major growth, but we'll see again. I am going to fire them several times to, to monitor their growth, uh, cumulative growth rate. Um, like I did with the other brass brands here, you can see in this uh, in this, uh, table right here. So we'll just add star line to, I'm sorry, add alpha to that. Okay. And then the other, um, observation, the third one is the primer pocket diameter. Okay. Like I mentioned before, it started off very narrow. 1.171 is extremely narrow. I mean, the other brass types that I tested, only Norma's started at like 0.172 ish. And then Lapua and Starline were starting at 173. Um, but as you can see here with Alpha, it started at 171. So very tight. But I seeded primers. They seeded to the depth they were supposed to. I looked at the primers um, physically after seeding them. There, there were some scratch marks, but not the type of marks where I think that um, you know, anything inside that primer was crushed or caused any ignition issues. And in fact, when I fired them, my second firing, uh, got a pretty good group. It was a high one. So um, definitely, I don't think, you know, anything is being messed with in terms of the primer there. 171 seems like it could work. Um, but here's the observation is after the first firing, again, with 28 grains of uh, LT32, which is kind of known as a more moderate load, um, four out of the five brass pieces grew a thousand in terms of uh, primer pocket diameter. So now four out of the five are at 172 and only one is at 171. So we'll see what happens. Again, I'm gonna fire these. I'm gonna add more sort of, you know, maybe another moderate load, then go to hot, then go, you know, kind of go down to moderate hot and, you know, keep trying different uh, levels of firing, go up to real hot. I plan on shooting <laughs> 30.5 and 30.7 of N133 in this application. And again, we'll just keep remeasuring and seeing what happens here. Um, my concern is not necessarily that the pocket grows, um, even though, um, you know, it, it, it grew really fast with the alpha. That's quick growth. And some of the other brass brands, you can see Lapua just stayed at 173 until like the 17th firing. Then it grew to 174. You can see the Norma stayed at 172 for a little while and then started growing after the, the, the you know, after we started shooting pretty stout loads. And then Starline grew right away and grew from 173 to 174, but it stayed at 174, which is acceptable. I, I noticed that with 174, I can seat that primer and I seat, seat them with the given pocket uh, depth and the, and the primer cup dimension uh, height um, that I seat them about anywhere from seven to nine thousandths uh, from case head. Um, and so, um, you know, they, they, they seat really well, even at a 174 diameter. So I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about if it gets up to 175. That's where I think, you know, it's going to probably start getting too loose. So anyway, um, we're not there at all with Alpha. It, it's still, like I said, four out of the five are at 172. One is still at 171, but just it, it showed rapid growth. And that's something that um, some of the other brass brands didn't necessarily show except for Starline. But we'll see. We'll keep firing, keep an eye on it, and keep reporting out. All right, everyone, take care and shoot small. Come on over to Patreon, too. Get off of those uh, forums like Inaccurate Shooter and all those places where there's a bunch of just bogus information, misleading information, and nothing but anecdote. And come on over to Patreon where we actually have data. Uh, we can we can tell you a pinpoint to the number, uh, what, what things are or aren't, uh, and it's not anecdotal. Uh, and we're, we're doing a lot of great things over there. So please come on, migrate over, and uh, we'd love to have you. Take care.